All right, hey guys, you know, we're back. Here we go, video number two here at the 2023 RV Dealer Open House that goes all week and we are, okay, so I'm just super pumped up. I, everyone's trying to calm me down. It's okay. You because we started last year, Dylan, right here with Paws by Palomino. And what we were talking about last year is the fact that overlandings become so big. It started with motorized vehicles and now the, the travel trailer industry is getting into overlanding. And I just, it's like, we walk through and I love all, but the colors, the look, the feel, the suspension, even knobby tires, I get really excited because overlanding is something that I really love to do. Yeah. Um, and this one is new for this year. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. Hey everybody, I am Dylan Risser. I'm with Paws and I am the sales representative for the Paws team. So last year, Dylan was my first interview and we got to know each other and we were talking about overlanding and off-roading and so when we took a look at the pause we were looking at a different model we and before were. before we started this video i was like wait hold on a second the cutout which i'm going to show everybody yeah. in a minute the back that opens up these are the most incredible and functional travel trailers for overlanders and before i turn it over to you and we play out play around a little bit on video um Trucks are limited by towing capacity. And so you came to market this year with a slightly slimmer version. We did. That is at 5,200 pounds, which means like a, a, a vehicle that tows, you know, most trucks in that 1,500 category are somewhere between eight and 10,000 right. pounds towing right. capacity. Right. And now you're sitting at 5,200 pounds, which is amazing that means like a ford raptor can tow exactly right so tell us about the towing capacity and he, he's going to jump down and tell you about this and the size and the weight and then i'm going to spin around on the inside and we're going to meet over there and show you some other cool features so you guys ready dylan let's see if you can do this you ready take it away all right here we go am i jumping you're down out right you're out man. i'm out hopefully and i don't I'm break spin. an ankle here i'm gonna so. do a flip backwards and roll <laughs> all right so since we're in the back you might as well talk about the back right so here on the back, we have a cargo door that opens up. You have a screen on the inside. It's gonna make you feel like you were on the exterior when you're actually sleeping on the inside. Full-size queen bed as well. So we walk around to the side here. Right away, notice we have our awning, right? Same awning as we talked about last year. Legless awning, spans out 10 feet long. You have an outside kitchen, a griddle, a refrigerator, a small sink with hot and cold water. And then you got your bar top right here so you can hang out enjoy the food you just prepared and right here check this out we got yeah! a window that pops open dual pane acrylic windows we love them shade screens everything you want so last year and you and i were just talking about this like oh my gosh this opening window is so cool for this new model year and like dude it was here last year <laughs> i was like i don't know how i missed it was well, the one that we covered didn't have this window on the side That's right. That's it had right. the big outdoor kitchen it yeah. I absolutely love the back that opens, the side that opens. Like, this is so inviting and so entertaining. Like, you've got bar stools, so, like, your friends can come hang out while you're overlanding right. in the middle of, you know, the desert, right? Whether Anza Borrego, you're up in the mountains of the Smokies. The functionality is here. It's like, hey, here you go. I mean, I appreciate it, that. yeah, it's just the water, but... Um, I just think the functionality, Dylan, is amazing. And what else outside? Like, you got the sit-up bar, you got power. Tell us about the color, like the, the design. Yeah, so it's the same design as last year, right? It gives you that, you know, nice, vibrant color. It's a vinyl body wrap, all four sides. So if you go through the woods and get brushed up or anything, it comes in sections, too. So if you want to replace the section, you can easily do that. All right, hop up in here, Dylan. I'm going to hey. tell everybody while well, yeah, you're making your way in. So what I like about the floor plan, let me start with design first. When I cover cars, I always talk about exterior design. Yeah. The design in this is like something I've never seen. And it, it's this, this palette, this color, this feel. Like everyone's going to farmhouse, but this is like farmhouse modern get off the grid. Sure. So I love the feel, the look. I love the low ceiling. And when you feel this, you can feel that it's got... Mm -hmm. Uh, a protective coating on it right? right for the outdoor elements you got your workstation over here what, what what's happening here what's this all about that is our camera system so cameras all four sides right that's just showing the rear right there it's got volume on it you got bears outside your camper at night well no need to look out a window you just look out your camera system i was gonna right make here. a joke about like <laughs> when the bear is sneaking up on you but that's yeah. exactly what it's for yeah, there you go uh you got 
your yeah, stove top, yep. and then over here, you got you've got your sink, big farmhouse style, deep sink, so you've yep. got that over here. And then I think about at night when the weather is amazing, yeah. your back's open, you're putting the screen down, you yeah. got storage up top, you got an air conditioning unit as well. Yeah. So you got plenty of functionality. Is this uh, convection down here? Uh, this is not. Standard microwave Standard down microwave. below. Yep. And then you got your bathroom and shower. We got to do the mic test, Tracy. Oh, we got so the mic out. test, I fit. Now you're, this is all about overlanding. So it's all about, you know, making sure that you, uh, you, you maximize your space and you get that big farmhouse door. I fit, which is, which is awesome. And then spin around, tell us about the bed. Yeah. So what we're looking at right here. So during the day, it can be a dinette. This table actually moves around so you can unhook it here. This actually swivels around so you can get in the dinette easier. Then at night it turns into a bed. This down here, this actually pulls out and this goes right on top here. So nice for stability and so forth. It turns into a pretty much a full size bed. All right, Tracy, you're gonna lead us out of the pause and we're gonna go. I wanna just show you the bigger models. So, you know, 5,200 pounds is really gonna be your starting weight with the pause. We get that with this one right here. As we make our way down, we've now got the rear entry, which is cool. And this rear entry right here is into your storage area. Yeah, you got storage, you got your batteries, your electrical system all back here. Uh, that way it's easily accessible. You can see it right here, all our Victron components. Now so to me, this is like a mud room, right? Yeah. I got a mud room in here. I can get rid of all my cold gear, my shoes. You got diamond plating down here. So when you think about overlanding, you're out in the desert. You know, it's all about being a minimalist with your cool right. travel trailer, and you have a lot great place to store stuff. As you make your way around, Tracy, I want to show you kind of the side of this bad boy. Um, this just speaks rugged, right? Rugged, functionality, plenty of storage. A lot of people that are going to buy these are going to be hunters, so you got storage for some of your specialty gear. Yep. What's the tie-up on the side here? You got this big bull nose on the side. Yeah, so that's kind of a brush guard. So essentially when you're going off the trails is to keep everything away from that frame is awesome. what it's used for. And tell me about the suspension on this. Yeah, you can see here we got it up on our uh, little rocks right down here. The suspension completely independent from one another on airbags, two Bilstein shocks on each wheel. And we can lift this thing up 12 inches from its lowest point. And then that way if you're going through the trails and going over the rocks, your wheels will look just like this right here. And how do you do that? Is it air? Air it compressor? Is air. So yeah, I see an air. air compressor outlet over here. Yeah, we have air chuck right there. So that's for anything external for like your truck tires, your bike tires. The compressor's on front. That's what inflates your airbags and gives us that uh, elevation we need. Awesome. And I love the fact that, you know, if you follow cars, you know that Bilstein shocks are like top of the line, right? Yeah. You see them on some of the most, you know, most amazing supercars. So you got Bilstein shocks in here. And why color? Why change a color? You know immediately you're running that's, Bilstein's. Like that's, that's exactly what's cool. Right. Exactly. On the inside, we're gonna take a quick look on the inside here. Super cool. Now you're getting a little bit more size, and I'm like, whoa, bunk beds for the kids. Um, and those are really long. My top, my son, 16, Tyler, um, he would easily fit in here. He's about six feet tall. I think his feet might be right up here on the end. <laughs> a lot of great space. Megan yeah. will be able to pop up here. Yep. So with uh, geared up with Mike Caudill, this is like getting geared up right here. Big bathroom, lots of storage. Uh, the shower test always in full effect. Oh, check this out. Do I get to open this? Yes. This looks like an that. opener. That does open. Look at that. So you can open it up. Oh, that is so cool. So being out in the desert, you want to just enjoy kind of nature as you're showering. I mean, that's kind of cool. I think that's a pretty neat little feature. Lock it back in here. Way you go. Plenty enough storage and space in here. Cool little sink. Again, farmhouse design, Dylan? Yes. Yes, it is. What else you want to show on the inside of this cool thing? Yeah, we pointed out the bunks, the bathroom. Another thing we added is this little office area here. A lot of people that do uh, overland are going to be working on the road, working remote. So we gave you space for that. Entertainment center. Here's a Garmin tablet here that controls everything. Nice size kitchen here as well with the reefer, microwave, oven three burner cooktop and then up front here we got your rollover sofa we added this dinette table this year as well a lot of people are saying hey you know we, we want a space to eat our food right so we put it right up front here so cool full-size queen bed with t-shirt closets on each side and then you gotta love the windows up front laying in bed look out through the windows see all the stars can't beat it all right I'm gonna point out one thing over here I'm gonna back you this way Tracy for a second all right in our in our all of our travel trailers motors 
We're always throwing crap. Yeah. Junk. Yeah. Jackets. You got a nice got little hangers. area over here. This is fully functional, rolls all the way across. Mm -hmm. You can hang whatever it is you want up there. 100%. All right, we're going to show you one more key feature in the next one down the line here. What's great about this pause is that, again, we're talking weight. Watch your step, team. We're talking about, watch your step again. Um, we're talking about weight, right? So what does this come in at? This comes in at 7,900 pounds dry. Okay. Uh, fully loaded, we're looking at about 9,500 pounds. Awesome, and a lot of the features on this are gonna be the same as the features that we saw in number one and number two, but there's yep. something inside this that we really wanna show you. And um, I think about, <laughs> I totally think about my wife with this because my wife, Flora, is a big, big time reader. And when I say she reads, she'll, she'll read 60 books a year. Like, she's that crazy. That's a lot of books. Yeah, it's a lot of books. And I can just see her sitting up here. So tell us about what makes this bed so special. Yeah, so what we did this year is we added the electric bed lift. Instead of the rollover sofa like we had in the other one, we can add an electronic or electric bed lift right here. You got a button here. You can take it all the way down for your full-size queen. That's cool. Or we can go up, just Super like you were cool. talking about, and read those 60 books. What uh, What's happening up here? So just like the uh, skylight in the bathroom in the last trailer. Blackout. So we can do the blackout or the screen too on that both our so skylight awesome. windows. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, a little bit different design. Your bathroom is now fully in the rear of this one. Second one was mid-side. Um, functionality, I fit in there, everything. Oh, check out the shower. What's Full this all about? Shower. Oh, you missed this one, man. Look at this. So you got shower head here, shower head here, shower head, lots of... Lots of sprays happening in here, and I think that's cool. Um, when you're out overlanding, backcountry fishing, um, what you want more than anything else is to just be really comfortable at the end of your day, and this is gonna give it to you. So there you go, guys. Uh, pause by Palomino. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. You'll Thank be my you. first interview again next year. We'll be back here again. Um, you gotta let him in here. Come on, right, get I'll in come here. come on in here. Um, it's been awesome. Two years now, we've yeah. been over checking out the pause. I can't wait to see what you guys have next year. Can you tell us? Uh, I, no. I don't even think I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, more videos coming your way from the 2023 RV dealer. Amazing open house here in Elkhart. We're going to be broadcasting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. More videos coming. Stay tuned. Who knows where we'll land next.